what is going on in those code snippets. Sometimes comparing the string cafe to cafe returns true, then it returns false, the length returns four, and then it returns five. This actually happens due to the way that strings are represented under the hood. JavaScript and many other programming languages represent strings as sequences of UTF-16 code units, which encode Unicode code points. JavaScript sees this cafe string as a sequence of individual UTF-16 code units. Normally, a single Unicode code point maps to exactly one UTF-16 code unit. We can see this happen with C, A, and F, but the accented E is where it gets interesting. Unicode actually provides two ways to represent this character. One way is by using a single code point to represent this character, and this is also called the composed form. Another way is by using the decomposed form. In that case, the single character is actually made up of two characters, the regular E and also the accent character, which together create this accented E. We perceive this as a single character. There's no way of knowing if it is composed or decomposed. But the important thing here is that JavaScript string methods are based on the individual code units and not on the user perceived characters. Comparing two strings only returns true if their code units are exactly the same, which can either be composed or decomposed as long as they are identical. But when we compare the composed version with the decomposed version, their code units are not identical, so this returns false, even though they look identical to us. The same thing happens for the length method, because the length method returns the amount of code units in a string and not the user perceived characters. For the composed version, this returns four, because we have four code units. For the decomposed version, this returns five, because we have five code units. This can be pretty tricky to work with, because from just seeing this string, there is no way of knowing if we're working with the compost or the decomposed version, this could lead to issues with comparison, validation, but also preventing duplicates in data sets. To avoid these issues, it is best to normalize strings first. In JavaScript, we can use the normalize method for this. With normalize, we can explicitly convert strings to either their composed or their decomposed version. This allows us to really control the output and ensure that internally they are represented consistently. But we didn't normalize the strings in the original code snippet but so that is why whenever we compare these identical looking strings, it returned false because we were working with a composed version and a decomposed version.